Welcome back to another video guys and today we're gonna have the final uh, bunch of sneak peeks before the new update drops 2.5 is coming very very soon and today we're gonna be talking about the healing times, the enemy levels, the radio calls and the uh, player names and the guild names as well so first of all we're gonna start with the player names so after this update uh, one time change you're gonna be able to change your name only once um, to the name you wish there's going to be also a confirmation button because it's only once uh so make sure you choose wisely what you're gonna uh put yourself as uh because these names changes are only once uh in a lifetime um players will now get clear information when their challenge starts are now counted for their guilds um the radio calls now um there's going to be a the, the top of a portion of the radio calls uh, interface is going to be adjusted so there's going to be uh, less uh, accidental calls uh, because it seems like I didn't know that but it seems like people do accidental calls uh, a lot so that's why they're changing it uh, and also the players who receive more clear reminders uh, when there's a survivor waiting uh, uh, in the radio tend to be either accepted or rejected um, now the enemy levels uh, the human enemies values uh, uh, the health of the human enemies has been uh, decreased uh, the walker levels can go uh, above 30 now uh, because the 30 uh, level 30 was the maximum because their health and attack power didn't increase after that but now it's going to be increased uh, even uh, above level 30 which is going to be pretty interesting um, so also um, the walker of all levels have been slightly st strengthened so there's going to be they're going to be more powerful it seems like but there's going to be you're going to be mo notice it more on the higher levels than the lower levels uh, di of difficulty um, but yeah, and also regarding the uh, level uh, increase above 30, this also uh, includes the human enemies, uh, so the saviors as well, uh, they're gonna have, they're gonna be more powerful, they're gonna be able to uh, go even beyond level 30 as well. And finally, for the final sneak peek, the healing times, the hospital has been changed, there has been adjustments, so right now the amount of time a survivor needs to heal from injuries uh, of all severities is now calculated based on the level of difficulty uh, of the mission where the survivor received the injury. So in general, players using survivors of level appropriate uh, for the difficulty of the mission will find their healing times uh, reduced uh, compared to previous healing times. So they should be reduced, they should see less healing times if you're doing the same difficulty as the recommended survivor level. Uh, but the survivor of all levels will receive long healing times for suffering a heavy injury in missions of difficulty 20 or above. Uh, but yeah, that that that's it pretty much. That's it for this sneak peeks. Um, these are pretty much just balance changes which the community has requested, and they actually bring it. But a lot of new content coming in the new update, a lot of new changes and additions and improvements. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it it definitely sounds like a very good update. Uh, but yeah, that should do it. Um, that should do it for this uh, sneak peek video, and this should wrap up all the sneak peek videos. This is the update, uh, which is gonna be dropping very very soon. Uh, but yeah, that I'll see you guys on my next video.